Hi, everyone. Uh, for this week's discussion post, we are talking about the syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone, uh, also known as SIADH. SIADH is a disorder of fluid imbalance caused by an excess of antidiuretic hormone, uh, also called vasopressin or ADH for short. Um, excess of ADH causes the body to retain fluid, which increases the body's total water. The overall increase in the body's total water causes a diluted plasma sodium concentration. Uh, hyponatremia is often a result of SIADH. Increased ADH secretion can be a result of many things, including CNS disturbances, but is most commonly caused by a bronchogenic carcinoma that secretes ADH ectopically in women. Some risk factors for SIADH are stress and CNS disturbances. So psychosis, hemorrhage, trauma, stroke, infection, um, all of these things cause the body to secrete more ADH. Um, also malignancies, so head and neck cancer, a small cell lung carcinoma, olfactory neuroblastoma, or extra pulmonary small cell carcinomas. Um, but like I had said previously, the bronchogenic carcinomas is uh, most commonly what causes SIADH. Certain drugs can also cause the release of uh, excess ADH, such as SSRIs, uh, anti-seizure medications, antipsychotics, antineoplastics. The most common caused medications are uh, clopromonide, uh, cyclosphosphonide, and carbamazepine, as well as oxcobrazepine. Um, SIADH can also be a response uh, after surgery. Major signs and symptoms of SIADH are those of severe hyponatremia. Um, so think nausea, vomiting, headache, confusion, fatigue, muscle weakness or cramps, irritability, reduced urine output. Um, and you can see the picture of this man who is soaked inside. Oftentimes SIADH is confused with diabetes insipidus. Um, they're actually the, essentially the opposite. So this is a good picture of um, someone with SIADH. You can see that all of his sodium in there, those little white dots are very diluted because he has so much water. Um, if I can zoom in here. You can see the cup down the bottom, that is his urine output, uh, really decreased urine, really concentrated. Um, hypertension is also a sign. So you can see here that he's got an increased blood pressure and um, he's having a headache and he could maybe have some seizure activity. For diagnostic testing, you would do a complete metabolic panel. Um, so you would look for a serum sodium and a serum glucose. The reason you look for a serum glucose is because sometimes um, hyperglycemia can result in hyponatremia. Um, so it's mostly for exclusion criteria. You also wanna look at the creatinine, the estimated glomerular filtration rate or the GFR. Um, urine sodium concentration, urine, urine osmolality, serum osmolality, uh, thyroid stimulating hormone, serum cortisol, and liver function tests. Um, the urine osmolality will be very diluted and the specific gravity will be low. Here are the references. I'm happy to answer any questions. I hope this was helpful.